Hey, what's up everybody? This is uh, Ron Kleinschmidt here with Studio KRP, and I'm here to show you how to do your own 360 virtual tour with the Insta360 ONE X. Follow me. All right, guys, we are inside of the house. Uh, we have our Insta360 ONE X. This is a great 360 degree camera to shoot video, photos, uh, you can do reframing. It's all kinds of cool, great things. You can't, you don't just use it for real estate only. You can use it for, uh, you know, your daily life, um, you know, fun with the kids, all kinds of stuff. So it is a great camera to have. So you have the camera, you have the app. Um, and within the app, you can adjust all of your settings so you can get uh, the best quality picture uh, that you possibly can. We can do HDR, we can do RAW, uh, all kinds of things. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go around the house and take a bunch of pictures and then we'll head to the studio and do all the editing. Follow me. So when you take your photo, you're going to want to hide from the camera. That way the camera doesn't see you because the 360 camera sees everything. So you wanna make sure that you wanna hide around the corner, take your photo, move it to the next location. I went around, I got all the photos of all the rooms that we need, and uh, here you can see like a little bit of a preview here maybe. Yeah, you can move around this photo. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do the editing. One way is um, we'll be able to use Photoshop and remove the tripod legs. And then there's the quick, easy way where we put a uh, logo of the company uh, to cover up the tripod leg. And there's a couple other things that you can do. Uh, you can put a black spot or a little patch over it. Uh, the best way is to remove the tripod. It costs a little bit more, takes a little bit more time, uh, but it is well worth it. So we're gonna head back to the studio and uh, do all the editing. Okay, here we are in my phone. I have a uh, Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Um, you really wanna have a flagship phone uh, for this, something with some power. Um, if you have just like a, bargain bin uh, cell phone, it'll probably be difficult uh, for you to do any kind of uh, serious editing or processing. So just make sure you have a good phone. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the quick, easy way. You can literally do this right at the location as long as you have internet. And if you're on your phone, you probably do. So what we're gonna do here is first, I'm gonna turn on the Insta360 ONE X camera. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our settings, make sure that the Wi-Fi is connected to the phone. Usually it's a um, one here, it says 1X with RA4, D4, all that. So you're gonna choose that. It'll give you this information here. Now this is on an Android phone. Um, there, you can also do it on a uh, iPhone. Um, you just have to connect it just the same way you connect to any Wi-Fi. So now that we're connected to that Wi-Fi, we're going to go to the Insta360 ONE X app. So click there. And then we're going to click on the album. All right. And now we're going to go to camera. All right. So now we're in the camera. And these are the photos that we have in the camera here. So I took some in HDR mode and I took some in raw photo mode. So what you're gonna wanna do here is you'll click up here, bam, and you can go to select all and then save to app. All right, and this will just make it a little easier to do all your editing and stuff once you get all the photos downloaded to your app. It usually takes a few minutes. So I took these photos in HDR. Um, usually the reason I do that is because I want it to um, expose good for the highlights and the shadows. So when you're, especially when you're inside, you'll be able to see, like looking out your windows, you'll be able to see out better. It won't be overexposed. So this is uh, one of our, this is the front of the house right here. One of our 360 spheres, you can look up and then you can look down. Let's see, we have that little tripod right there. We don't really wanna see that. So here's some options that you can do. Okay, so you go up to the three dots right here, bam. So on those three dots, it says logo. So you click on that, and I already have it preloaded here to where it'll put my Studio KRP logo right there. 
um, but you can make it your own logo and put there. Um, let me show you real quick how I uh, got that logo to appear there. So let's get rid of it for a second. So back out here to the um, main area and you go down here to settings, right? So click on settings, right? And then right there, Nadir logo, bam. So you click that. So here is where you load up your uh, Nadir logo. Um, you can either use your own custom one or they have like a one that says Insta360 on there, or you can choose none and it can be like a little black spot that kind of covers it, or it can be a little white spot that covers it, or you don't even cover it at all. But why even choose to do the Nadar logo? Anyways, so the best one that I like to do is I use, use my own custom logo. You would have to get this made probably in Photoshop or something or have somebody make it for you with the correct dimensions. Uh, but what you want is a little circle basically with whatever stuff you want in there, whether it's your logo or some other information. Okay, so I've chosen this one here as the logo. Okay, so now we go back out. And then we go back to our album. And then we go, well, where's that? We're at our spot already. Okay, so here we are. We're back in this photo. There is the tripod foot I would like to get rid of. So I'm going to go up here and click on the logo. And bam, there it is right there. And then all you got to do is. Go to each photo that you want to do that with. So we have this one. I think this is of the park down the street. So with the HDR, it takes like three images at different exposures so it can get all the highlights and shadows to look the best. So there's that. So we just click there. And you'll just have to go through and do this for each of the photos. Um, Usually what I like to do is once you're done there, you click this little button right here. That's going to be your export button. You can go export it straight to Facebook or all that. But what we want to do is keep it local. So we're going to click there. And then we want, there's three options here. There's this spin view here where it does like a, a little animation. There's screenshot where it just shows a still image. Um, or the 360 photo is what we want. And we want that right there, that nadir logo baked right into the shot okay so it looks weird right here but uh, once you export it and then you um, import it into the 360 hosting website it'll be the 360 sphere uh, that you uh, recognize so click export so it's going to export for a moment bam that one's done okay we'll go back to that first one that we did of the front of the house and then there's our logo, so we'll click here, export, you know, and you just got to go through and you do this for each photo that you took, depending on how many you did. It might take just a few minutes, it might take longer. All right, so we're going to go up now. So now we're going to go, this is probably the living room area, hallway. That one took a while to put together. So this is the living room. See how you, the windows don't look all overexposed here? That's what the HDR will really help you out with. You'll be able to see the inside exposed properly and then the outside. So again, tripod. Now we're gonna go here, add the logo. There's our logo. And then we go export, local, and then export. All right. Once you're done with that, you can exit out of the Insta360 ONE X program. We'll go to our gallery so I can just kind of show you. So here we go. There's four photos at the top there. Um, see how it's all baked in there with our little logo. So those are in your camera roll or your gallery or, or whatever it's called in your particular phone. So now we want to go to a website called SeekBeak. Now you do have to have, um, if you want to host tours there for 
any period of time, you have to have a subscription. Um, I think it's not bad. I think it was like 120 bucks maybe for an entire year. And then you can host as many tours as you need. So I am already a member. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to click log in. And it takes me to my little page here. All right, so I'm at my little page here. And if you click right here, you'll see that I have a whole bunch of groups already here of tours that I've already made. Um, but if you have a new tour and it's your first time, or if it's your first time, you want to click here and go to groups. And you're going to create, you can either select a group where you can add more photos to, or you click the little plus sign to create a new group group name. So we're going to put this as the uh, test tour. I've already made this tour for this particular property and uh, you can fill in a public display name if you want or a group description. That's fine. Um, but it's not really necessary. So click here to the little save icon right there and it says group added. You want to go to snaps, right? So, and then when you're in snaps, you click on the tour in the drop down box here that you want to use. So, test tour is the one that we want to use. Moving on. So, now we want to click on the plus sign there, plus symbol. And now we want to either drag or drop our images here or click to select. So, we're going to click there. We're going to allow the phone or the app to access the gallery here. We're going to click on those photos that we want to use. And now it has put all of these photos here. You can, of course, name everything right here. So this is um, living room. It's good to label them beforehand because then it helps keep things organized. But you can, of course, name them later if you so desire. So now you've got everything named. You have all your photos here. Then you're going to click Upload. So depending on the speed of your connection, this could take a bit. But I have a pretty fast connection here. So that is no problem. So now, as you see here, you have all of your photos right there. OK? So now you got to kind of pick. What's going to be your first photo? Obviously, front of house. So here we are. We're at the front of the house. I like to zoom out a little bit. You can actually control the zoom and everything, how it starts out, what position it starts in, and all of that. Um, you're going to go down here to properties. So details. Right? You can, of course, name it at this point if you want. Um, or put a description. We've already named it. Um, here you can uh, put in your start view position. So basically, if you click this little crosshairs right there, it'll use the coordinates of the pitch and the yaw of where you're currently at to um, have those coordinates whenever it starts up at uh, whenever the photo starts. Whenever you go to that photo, it'll start in that position. So save those changes, right? And then I also like to go here to preferences and I like to go to field of view. So this one here, it doesn't do that. You got to kind of move it like that. You don't want to go too far because then it starts to look warpy. All right. And then, of course, you got to go down here and hit save preferences. So now. Whenever we go to that photo, it's going to start in this position right here. OK, so the next thing we want to do is so we want to go to edit. So I'm going to go to add. Quick jump hotspot, and then you can click here to filter through your your different photos. I only have four here for the example. So we'll go right to the living room because that's the next room. Once you go behind that door and I'm going to put it right there on the door. You just let it let it go and there it is right and then we'll make another one the park is just a couple steps down this way here so i'm going to pull the park 
over there. All right. So once you're done with that, click that little X, hit save. Always make sure you hit save on everything. And then now it's there. So that's going to be your little hotspot. If you click on that little hotspot, it takes you to that place. So we're going to click on park. And now we're going over to the park. So here we are. We're at the park. All right. See, so that's that house that was kind of right next door to that house. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get edit, add, quick jump hotspot, front of house, right over there. Front of house right over there and then exit out of there click save now that is permanently there now that is there and then there is our park shot so click back there and now we're back at the front of the house we're going to go into the living room and then we're going to add another hot spot. So now I'm going to go ahead and add it. I'm going to add a couple spheres here. I'm going to quick jump hot spot. We're going to go master bedroom. That was upstairs. Master bedroom and we'll move around here to the door. And we'll go back to the front of the house. You want to make sure you have every sphere that you have, make sure you put all the hot spots to all the locations you want to be able to access from that room. Okay, so now I'm clicking out of here. Hit save. Now I'm going to go up to the master bedroom. You can see out of those windows a little bit better with the HDR. All right, there we go. So there is that. We're going to add a sphere here. I'd probably add more spheres, you know, getting into the different rooms and stuff that are there. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to keep it short and sweet. All right, so um, you just basically do that for each one of your spheres. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what this final tour looks like. I'm going to go to Snaps. I'm going to go to the house itself. All right, so this is what the final tour looks like. Here in this tour, I actually, the client uh, paid extra money, so I would Photoshop out the tripod legs. That way there's no patch, there's no legs. It's just a clean shot, right? So I got the park entrance down there. I've got a front entrance, I've got a side entrance. So let's go in the front entrance here. So now I just, that's the front area, right? Because we were at the sidewalk. So they had a pretty extensive tour on this one. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go in the living room. And now we're in the living room. And you can go up the stairs. I have a shot of the stairwell. I've got the downstairs kind of hallway area. There's a kitchen dining room. There's a laundry room. Let's click kitchen dining. And there we are. We're in the kitchen area. There's a small dining room. This is an older house. so. Um, it's kind of in a historic district in the area. Um, go up the stairs over here. So this kind of shows you like the stairs, but it's also where the side entrance is. You can, of course, go out that door. So I have little access little to all the different spheres, depending on where in reality you would have access to them. So there's a, a guest bedroom, number two, a guest bathroom, a guest bedroom. Um, go this way. This is the master bedroom. And there's your master bedroom. I also took some shot, a shot of the master bathroom. So, okay, so now that you have your tour complete, we click on share. Now it comes up with all these different options. You can share to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest. Um, there's some other stuff here. I don't even know. There's email. Um, I don't know what that does, but the one that you really want is probably this guy right here, the little chain link, because here is where you're going to get your your um, your URL uh, link. So if you wanted to just like put it in an email or something, you or or anything or customize it. Sometimes people have websites where you just put the link in and it pops up with the tour. Um, you can put it in Facebook with this link. All kinds of stuff, right? 
And then if you wanted to embed it into a web page, say you have an HTML style website, um, you can copy and paste that and it'll, it'll embed the tour right into the page. Um, so those are kind of like, you know, some sharing options that you have. Um, or you can, of course, you know, share it to Facebook or, you know, wherever you want. So that is going to con con conclude this part of doing the quick and easy um, fast tour. Obviously, you don't see our logo on this one. But let's see here. Let's go out to... How do we get out of here? Let's go back to snaps. All right, so we're going to go back to our test tour. So the test tour, the quick and easy one, it's going to have the logo. So getting rid of the, the tripod legs, it takes more time. You have to go into Photoshop and you have to go and clone stamp or paint out the legs, which is what I'm going to show you next. Um, so Thanks for watching this part of the tutorial. And now we're going to head over to uh, a computer and work in Photoshop to get rid of those tripod legs. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, Photoshop to get rid of the tripod and then upload to sneak peek and all that so you can create your tour. This is the longer uh, version. Um, the other way was quick and easy. You could do it right there on location. But this one here is, takes a little bit more time. You have to you know, go back to a regular computer. If you go over here to your original unprocessed images, they're going to look different. OK. So your unprocessed images straight from the 360 camera shot in RAW will look like this. And that's not what you want. You want it to look. Um, like a big giant rectangle. So we're going to cancel out of this. And the first thing we're going to have to do is go to Insta360 and open up their program here. And then I'm going to bring in the images. Okay, 360 photos, raw. Okay, so these are the unprocessed raw photos right here. I'm gonna drag and drop them over here. All right, so you got all your images here. They look a little weird right now. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna to go to batch export. We want them to be the original resolution. We don't wanna downgrade them in any way. We want to do the automatic horizon correction. We're not going to do an automatic Nadir logo. And then I want to change where I'm going to put these. Process raw to. All right, so we're gonna select that folder. Now all those fo uh, files are gonna process and go right into that folder. All right, so it looks like I have gone through and all of those have exported. So now they're going to be in the processed raw folder. Now we're going to reopen Photoshop back up. Click open, go to the processed raw and select all of these images. Now they open up in Photoshop raw and see there this long uh, rectangle type image here. So now what we can do with these raw images is we can go in here and I can bring down the highlights, see how I save that a little bit and bring up the shadows so we can see a little bit more. I'm going to make it more contrasty, uh, a little bit more on the blacks, bring down the whites a little, add a little texture, a little clarity, a little dehaze, and a little bit on the exposure. We'll vibrance and saturate it up a little bit. All right. So, and then you're just going to go and do this with all of your photos. Um, you can also do a little bit of, uh, I like to do a little bit of uh, sharpening, bring it up there, a little bit of noise reduction, especially when we're inside. Um, all right. So then we're going to go. So you just go through here and you do your adjustments. Um, you can also click this auto button here and it'll kind of like do some automatic adjustments. 
So um, this is the first step you want to do, or the next, the second step you want to do after you process the raw, so they're not those little circle images. Sometimes I hit auto, and then I come in here and I'll do some fine fine tuning. So once you have all of your images looking how you want them to look, you will click to select all of them here. Select the first one and the last one and hit select shift and you click open. So now those, all of those images will open up in Photoshop. Depending on how many images you have depends on how long it takes for them to open. But if you see down here we have like our tripod feet there and that's what we're going to get rid of. All right, now that you have all your images opened up in Photoshop, I'm going to go up here to 3D and I'm going to go to Spherical Panorama. And I'm gonna to go to New Panorama Layer from Selected Layers. So click on that and that's gonna take your image here and it's gonna make it the 360 image just like we'll see in the tour. But the downside is, oh, we have this tripod here, bam. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to the clone stamp tool right here, clone stamp. And I like to maybe zoom in here a little bit, get a little bit more detail. That's gonna be a little bit big, I think. Well, maybe, let's go click H for hand. Yeah, right click and you can adjust the size of your little circle here. So first thing you're gonna do is you click Alt and hold and that little, um, uh, crosshairs gives you like, oh, this is where I'm going to sample from. And then you're going to come over here and then you'll click and then you'll click and it samples. See how it has a little plus sign there and then you'll click. So it's sampling from that one spot and bringing it over. So we'll do that again right over here. Alt, click, bring it down and then click. See that? Covers it right up samples from that spot. So you want to go from spots that are like right by here, you know, like uh, click and hold right there. Alt, paint over it. That's what we call painting over. Click, alt click, 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 alt click, 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 click. And there you go. We can even get rid of this little, um, light spot in here we want to look at that all right and then i will zoom back out and i will choose my tool to zoom around here so now we have gotten rid of that tripod foot there nice and it's pretty easy but you have to have photoshop it's just the more steps and then once you're done getting rid of your tripod foot you're going to go to file back to the 3d back to spherical panorama and then go to export panorama save on your computer and then wherever you want to save that as um, save that at I have um, the JPEG no tripod here I've already done all of this before but you'll just save the image um, wherever you'd like um, and then you can call this um, closet you know this will help later with laundry right and then um, I'll just go JPEG JPEG alright so we'll go here and then close it with laundry and we'll click Save so now I have saved that image I can close that image out it's gonna ask me if I want to save it again you're just gonna click no and then you'll just go through and you're going to do that for all of these guys. 3D, spherical panorama, new panorama layer from selected layers. It does the 360 for you there. And then you're going to come here and you're going to clone stamp. So alt, hold, click, and then paint that over. Alt, hold, click, paint that over. Alt, hold, click. Paint that over. All told, click, paint that over. All told, click, paint it over. Same steps every time. So you get all of that covered. 
Look at that. Okay. And then back to this. And then we're going to go up here, spherical panorama, export panorama. And then we'll call, what is that room? That is the bathroom, master bathroom. Master bath. All right. And click save. All right. And then you'll click there and you're done. So now You'll go and do that with all of your images. I'm not going to go and do all of them again because I've already got them. The next step we're going to do is we're going to go to our SeekBeak account. This will be another thing that you'll have to have in order to do your own tours. It's the hosting of the tours. So, um, what you're going to do now, we're going to go to group, we're going to do a new group. This is going to be um, uh, tutorial, tutorial tour, right? Okay. So now we got that, we're going to click the little save icon here. We're going to go back to snaps. And now we're going to select the, the tour that we want, the group that we want. So we've created the tutorial tour. That is a tongue twister. So click there. And once you're ready, you click the plus sign. And now you can uh, drag and drop or click, and then you can go there. But I already have my guys open in this window right here. So I'm going to just drag and drop them. Select them all, drag and drop, and bam. <laughs> Here are all of your images. I've already named my images. So there's the front. So the images were already named. I don't have to do that extra step later, but you can always do it here if you did not do it before. Now you click upload. Now it's going to upload all of your images depending on your connection speed. This could take a bit, but we have a super fast connection here at the studio, so it should not take long at all. Once it's all done, we're going to, it's going to up, it's going to show you, um, you know, little previews here of all the images. These guys are still processing over here. So uh, once they are all done processing and show up in their little thumbnails, we can go to our next step. All right, so now all the images are processed. So they're all here. What I usually do is I start with the very first one that I want to do, and that's going to be uh, this guy right here. So. I put the name of it as the address and then also um, the front of the house. This is more of like the sidewalk street view. And then you can also like zoom out here a little bit. So what I like to do here is I'd like to hit up the properties first. And in here you can go to let's see details and then you can go to your start position. And um, you can either put it in yourself, which I don't know the numbers for that. But usually what you can do is you can just position it how you want here. You click properties, details, and you click the little crosshair guy. And then that'll give you your little coordinates. And then every time it'll start the tour right in this angle right here. So click save changes. Then next we go to preferences because I don't like it zoomed into the default zoom that they have. So what I'll do is I'll go to field of view zooming click there and then here you can kind of mess with your you know zoom you don't want to go too far because that looks weird so probably like mm, you know 100 or so degrees 99 looks good and then always make sure you click save preferences and then you're done all right the next step is you're going to go to edits add and then you're going to put a quick jump hotspot and then we need to go, we need to find, where do we need to find? We need to find the, oh, I think I have a front of the house, front entrance right here, right before you go in the door. So we're going to take that front entrance, we're going to drag and drop it right there on the door. So now this is going to be a hot spot for our front entrance uh, 360 sphere. And then I'm going to look around here because we did some stuff at the park. So now I'm going to find my park shots, 
park entrance is going to be first. So I'm going to put that right there because that's where about where the park entrance is. And then I have another one that's the side entrance. So I'm going to put that over there. Okay. And then once you're done, you click that little X there and you click save right here. And that has saved your hotspots there. So now if I click on park entrance, now I'm at the park entrance. And then I'll go here to properties and I'll go to, uh, I want to, yep, I want it to be right. Let me see here. Let me click out of here. All right. You want to be right here where I see the sign and the park. So preferences, details, that's the position I want to be in. Preferences, the zoom that I want to be in is more like right there. Save. Right? So now we have this sphere and now we need to connect it, right? So edit, add, hotspot. So now we need the park shot, park there. And then we need the front of house shot, the one that's by the sidewalk. So right about there, click that, save. And now we're there. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the house. I'm gonna show you we're inside of the house here. All right, so now there's the front of the house shot. I'm going to do my properties. Set changes, preferences. All right, so I've done that, and I'm going to uh, edit, add, quick jump hotspots. So now we need living room is going to be, is our next guy once we go inside. So living room there. And then we need side entrance there. And then we're gonna go back to front of the house there put that there all right and then we click out of there you know it's it's not hard to do it's just time consuming and tedious i mean once you do it a few times you'll get fast with it so now we're inside the house References. And then, you know, you're just going to keep going through the house. Um, we're going to add all of our hot spots here. Let's see, downstairs hallway. That's this guy here. And now this is the kitchen, kitchen, dining room area there. There's also a laundry room there. I mean, and this is really up to you how you want to do it. Um, of course, you want to make sure that you always have, um, you know, the way back, the way back to where you're going. So back out to the front en front entrance. Now there is a side entrance stairs. I think it's just stairs. So that's stairs right there. All right, so we got the stairs, so we're done there. So we're clicking save. All right, so now we have ways to get to the laundry room, to the kitchen dining room, so we can click there and it takes us, voila, into the kitchen dining room area. And of course, you know, you just gotta go right through here and do this to every image. All right, so, yep, 
moving on. Oh yeah, we gotta add of our hot spots here. Laundry room there. Where is the living room? Living room out there. And that's it for this one. So we're moving on. Save. Okay, living room. So now I've shown you, you know, we have several things here several spheres. So now I'm going to go back to my let's see here. Back to snaps. We're going to go to groups. We'll go to the finished tour. Oops. Back to snaps. Now I have this tour already finished here right there, right? So click there and I have the finished tour. You know, we can, let's go in the side entrance. Let's see what that looks like. So we got side entrance. We can go right here to go right inside and go to the stairs. We can go to the backyard. Here's what the backyard looks like here. So now that you have your tour completed, we're gonna go back to the front of the house and you're going to go to the very first image that you want to be your first main image, right? Now, what you're going to want to be able to do is going to want to be able to um, share your tour. So you're going to go down to share and that gives you some options here. You can share it directly to Facebook if you would like and it'll put the house right there. You can type something in and share it right to Facebook. Um, there's also Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn. Um, you can send it via email, like a link via email. You can take an HD photo of the current snap. So you can just like kind of screen capture that. So if you click there, it'll be like, hey, where do you want to save that? And then you can click there if you want to just have like a quick um, snapshot of that. Um, and then what does that do? You can create a QR code that way you can put it like say on a business card or on a website or somewhere and um, or just like a flyer and then somebody can take their phone and, and snap the QR code and it'll take them directly to the tour. Um, uh, this one right here, this little chain link, that will give you this little window right here and then you can actually choose to um, copy and paste the link into you know uh, social media or somewhere. So let's say we want to go to the Facebook and just copy our um, tour in manually. So we'll click there, paste, and it'll come up just like it was before. All right. So I'm not going to actually post that. And um, also, let's say you want to uh, embed uh, this into a website. So you click here, you copied the embed code right here. And then let's say um, you have a website that you use, like your own uh, real estate website. So we're gonna go to, we'll go to site actions, edit. Now this isn't part of the video, like you'll have to do this one on your own because everybody's website situation is different. But if you give it to your uh, web person, they should be able to do this. All right, I'm going to, Come over here, I'm gonna create a blank page. And then done, I'm gonna go here. I'm going to add, what is it? It's HTML, oh, embed. And then I'm gonna embed, All right, embed a site, embed. Okay, I'm gonna embed, I'm gonna add custom HTML code, right? This is a extra thing. So I'm gonna enter my code, entering the code and click update. So now it will put that tour right in the website. That's what you'll use the embedding code for.
So then you can you know embed it into your own website as well as um, sharing it to Facebook and such. So that is the the longer version of how we we do the 360 tour to get rid of the tripod legs. Okay, so I have put links to everything in the description below this video. If you purchase uh, the cameras through uh, these links, I get a little bit of uh, kickback for that, a little bit of a percentage, a commission. So um, please uh, buy through those links if you decide to buy these cameras. Um, I shot mine with the Insta360 ONE X but now they have an Insta360 ONE X2, which you can do it the same with. Um, also, the Insta360 ONE R. Both of these cameras uh, are capable of shooting the 360 video or the 360 real estate tours. So either of those two cameras, either 429.99 or 479.99, will get you the camera that you need. And then, if you're going to use Seekbeak. All right, SeekBeak.com pricing. So they have a few different options here. Uh, they have a free version, which you can only put three photos there, which you're probably not going to want to use that um, because you're going to want to do more than three rooms. Um, I think I have either the small business or the individual. Really what you need is, you know, unlimited, unlisted snaps. And then, you know, the custom branding, all that stuff. You really just need that one right there. So you'll sign up for that. Um, it's $14 a month, but that gives you the ability to create your tours there, link them all together into a, a connected tour, and then host them there um, for as long as that you have the plan. And then if you're going to do Photoshop, the Photoshop the tripod legs out, you're going to want to have Adobe Photoshop. So you can actually, they have it like for sale, like you can do a monthly situation um, with the Creative Cloud. You can of course do a free trial, um, but buy now. So for $20.99 a month, you can get the full version of Photoshop which is a, a great price. And then if you say, oh, I only wanted to do a couple tours this month, so you'll just pay the $20 and then you can, you know, if you don't have any tours the next time, but it's just, it's a good thing to have. So Photoshop, so it's like 30, $35 a month. Um, and then you can do, you can get the tripod legs out of your shot. You can um, do that with Photoshop. And then you have your 360 tour hosting at SeekBeak. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. And also, if you don't want to do all of this, you don't want to go through the hassle of buying the camera, learning how to use it, following my tutorial and all that, I will leave all of my contact information in the description below. Thanks for watching.